A picture perfect October afternoon in Ann Arbor, Michigan. As the Wolverines get set to open Big Ten play against the Hawkeyes of Iowa. Michigan in search of a sixth straight Big Ten crown and looking for home win number 300. Vermeister's problems against Penn State, finding himself flat on his back, and that has helped account for the five interceptions and only one touchdown on the season. Not near the 35-yard line goes Terry. He's their leading ball carrier. Slutsker, the tight end, comes out in a slot right in a three-wide-out formation, but they will keep it on the ground, and they're going to lose yardage this time. Ryan Terry stuck by Dudler. Number 55, the senior. Yeah, I think that was a busted play that time. Dudler, who played defensive end a year ago, shuttles in and out. He's at the top of your screen, number 55 there. Watch, no one even blocks him on this play. You can't run off tackle without blocking the end man on the line of scrimmage. That's a bust, and that's what Iowa can't do. They have a tough enough time moving the ball when they're doing everything right, let alone beating themselves. And uh, he would have been the guy responsible that time. Third down, 10. Burmeister, deep sideline, incomplete. I guess it was intended for Anthony Dean. He was coming across the field. Slutsker, the tight end, kind of pulled up in his route, and Michigan forces the punt. And a first down at the 33-yard line. Draw play, Wheatley, big hole left side. Closed by the Iowa defense, but not before he got out to the 39-yard line. A pickup of six yards. Wheatley has a first down up near the 45-yard line. So two carries and 12 yards for Tyrone Wheatley. Michigan, it's initial first down of the ball game. The 45-yard line. Collins, soft play action. Over the middle. Tight ends got it at the 42-yard line. Mark Burkholder. And that's another Michigan first down. There's the play action. Collins wants it deep middle. Alexander, first down Michigan at the 17-yard line. 28-yard pass play. Play action pass from behind. Wheatley holds those linebackers. They take a step up. But from the right side of your screen, you're going to see this ball is thrown before you even see Alexander. And he puts it just over the outstretched arm of number four, Pat Boone, right there. Wheatley, first down near the five. Michigan has been brilliant on their third down conversions. And a counter to Wheatley. One touchdown in 12 of the last 14 games. Now he takes it in from five yards up. This is a power football, by the way. It's counter trade. The backside tackling guard, Runyon and Miller pull. And if Wheatley gets just a little bit of daylight, he's into the end zone. Ground level, try to play linebacker on that because you've got those big offensive linemen. They take their opening drive into the Iowa end zone with 624 left first quarter. It's Michigan by a touchdown. I can understand that call. Left hash. Romano's long on the year, 53 yards against Tulsa. They won't ask him to kick that far here, but I'll tell you one thing. He's only about a yard away from one of those big divots, so I don't know about his plant foot from 47 yards away. Somebody got a hand on it. Michigan with a block and the ball. Dudler's got it for the Wolverines. This has to be tough for Iowa. They get the field turned upside down, and they do not get any points out of it. Inside, the ball was blocked, and uh, I think it was Jason Horn. You know, he goes six it foot was. five, and I think he got his hand on it. And then Dudler got the ball. I'm going to bet you that Dudler's happy he got tackled. I saw him yesterday. He couldn't <laughs> run 80 yards, could he? <laughs> he said, listen to a quarterback telling me about being physical on the field. <laughs> well, he's got a fumble recovery off Horn's block. 
Michigan on first down. Over the middle, Wheatley wide open. Nice move. And look and go. Wheatley will take it. Touchdown, Michigan. A block punt. And one play later, Ty Wheatley strikes again. Michigan by 14. There's no denying that Ty Wheatley, when he gets his hands on the ball, can make people miss. But this is a great job by Todd Collins also. He gets a little pressure, dumps the ball off Wheatley, and you're just not going to arm tackle this man. If he gets one foot by you, he is gone. Wow, what a weapon. Throw a three-yard pass and get seven points out of it. Quarterbacks have to love those stats. 48-yard <laughs> touchdown pass. They put a touchdown on the board, make it 14-7, to keep it close, and try to win the game in the second half. Second down and seven. Jasper and Dean, the wide receivers for Burmeister. He looks over the middle instead to the fullback and a touchdown, Iowa. Kent Call takes it in from 12 yards out. Iowa fullback on a pass from Burmeister has cut the lead to seven. Michigan has one timeout remaining. Four wideouts for the Hawkeyes. They'll keep it on the ground with a draw. Terry lost the ball. Michigan may have it again. They do. I think it's going to be Buster Staley, number 60. You see it. They just want to stop the clock here. Staley gets a hold of the ball and rips on it. And that is a cardinal sin for a running back. No one should be able to run that ball away from you, especially in that situation. Elizabeth missed earlier. From 38, this is a 32-yard try. High snap. They get it down, and this one barely made it through. Someone may have gotten a hand on it, but it had enough juice to make it over the crossbar. <laughs> The turf was so bad, he hit a little punch shot in there that time. <laughs> the 29-yard line, first down Iowa. Burmeister, heavy pressure, down he goes. Third sack of the day. This one comes from Steve Rakowski. Both wide outs to the top of your screen for Burmeister. On play action, he wants to go that way. And does. Floated one and it's intercepted. Shante Peoples just waiting for it. And the interception at the 28-yard line. Wolverines at the 28-yard line of Iowa. Ricky Powers. Near the 22-yard line. Ricky Powers. Five seats at five times $28 <laughs> is big money at Michigan. Wheatley again. First and goal. Marcus Porter saved the touchdown. The way he runs, he may have only saved it for about a play more. Wheatley had three touchdowns last week. He had three touchdowns last year against Iowa. And now he's got three touchdowns again. Wheatley takes it in, and the Wolverines run it up to 23 to 7. To Super Six, they call him. Tyrone Wheatley, his third score of the day, has put the Michigan Wolverines in front 24 to 7. Down conversion, they'll have to earn this one. Stanley and down goes Burmeister. Final score, the Wolverines 24, the Hawkeyes 7. Stay tuned for Budweiser Racing's Across America Super Derby 14 coming up next. For Gary Danielson, Charlene Hawks, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Brad Nessler. Saying so long from Ann Arbor, Michigan.